Hi, this is TJ Singh, your sick product specialist at ENM in Southern California. We all know RFID technology is one of the most hot topics in today's day and age. RFID technology has been able to streamline the entire supply chain process and it does that by providing a bunch of benefits. The very first benefit that we get from RFID is that it is interactive which means when the product is passing through a RFID interrogator it doesn't just read but also writes data on it. Secondly, it provides a lot of visibility which means you can track and monitor your product throughout the process. They work in dirty environments unlike the legacy products and they do not depend on the consistent lighting which means you can put the tags in any orientation or position. The RFID still catches it. And also all this happens without halting the process which means no downtimes. With all these advantages to RFID technology, SICK has a wide portfolio that covers basically all applications. And to add to that family, we have the new RFU 610, which you can see is a very compact device compared to the existing portfolio. You have multiple interfacing options. Either you can do power over ethernet or you can select the option with power and ethernet separately. You also have a third interface in the middle, which is for your trigger sensors, and that will basically turn on the read and write options on your device. So the range on the device is around 300 to 500 millimeters for small tags. And on the larger tags, you can even get 900 millimeters. The 610 has a circular antenna, which means you get omnidirectional reading. It does not matter how the orientation of your tag is, it is still going to pick it up. For software interfacing, you have two options, SOPUS ET as well as SOPUS Air, which is the web browser interface. And lastly, you also have a servicing port on the back with which you can do cloning as well. Let's look at the software interface to have a quick understanding how it works and how easy it is to set up this device. Here I have the RFID connected to my laptop over Ethernet. Once I see it in SOPAS, I can double click on it and then I come into the configuration page. So the quick start is really helpful to configure the device. What I usually do is press on the start button and you will see the blue light, you will see the blue light blinking and if I bring the tag in, you can clearly see the tag in there and also the signal power going up and down depending on if I'm close to the sensor or I'm further away. Then what you can do is stop there, press on the UII and this tag access page opens up. Here you can see the unique identifier number here in both hex or ASCII. And you can make changes to it by writing whatever you want it to be and then pressing the right UII. You can go further down in the software over parameter. Here you can do reading configuration and SICK software is very nice and intuitive. With the antenna configuration, you can decide how much power you want to give to the uh, antenna depending on how further out you want to be from the tags. You can even go to tag select where you can filter out whatever tags you want depending on UII, TID or user data. So all that can be under your conditions. Once you do that, you can select data processing. Here you can create conditions what your good or bad read is. You can select your data format output and you can also sort out how the data is going to be sent out. And finally, you can select your data output methods over Ethernet or you're doing digital outputs. And that's pretty much how easy it is to play with this software. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at the email provided on the screen. Thank you.